Okay, so we are talking about the one week from now strategy to get back on track. And this is to get out of our head because quite often we're so inside our head that we can't think clearly and we just fall straight into the, this is too much, too much, I can't do this, I just can't do it now. And then we go back to square one. And we talk about this a lot, that fact, I've got one right in front of me, which I didn't even realise. That emotional cycle of change that we talk about so often, that we just so happen to have in our Kickstart book, which I'll show you here, because the emotional cycle of change pretty much shows you, if you are watching, where we're at. So we start off super kind of uninformed optimism, then we get that pessimism comes in, we're like, mm, can I stick to it? Then we hit that valley of despair. That's what I'm talking about here. That, mm, can't, can't do it. This, this won't work. It's too hard. I've got this. And here we can give up and go, we give up. Because we get a dopamine hit. Like when you stop, you, you get, ah, oh, don't, we don't have Fruity Fit um, <laughs> chasing me, uh, help me do X, Y, Z. I don't have to attend sessions. I don't have to get up in the morning. It's like a relief. And I get that. Um, it seems good. But then we're just back to square one and we start this process again and again. Whereas here we've got informed optimism. This is where we know it's going to be challenging, but isn't it hard anyway? And then we've got success and fulfillment where you push through that. Now, what I want to talk about now is the one week from now strategy, which quite simply means this. One week from now, what needs to happen for you to be, have a good week? That's it. What needs to happen? And what does a good week look like? What does a back on track look like? What does getting back on the bandwagon look like? So quite often we don't define this. We just compare ourselves to the perfect week. And remember, you won't always be a month away from a wedding, a month away from a holiday. You won't always have that level of motivation. There's going to come peaks and troughs. And there's going to be times where you have to accept you won't be doing as well as you maybe did because maybe you haven't got the time, the motivation, the energy, the, the bandwidth, that's the word, to fit it in, and that's okay. Be proud of that, that's okay. So the one week from now, what needs to happen by then? And define it, because, and I share this because I had a chat with someone at the start of the week and they're like, oh, yeah, struggling, not doing well. Okay, let's focus on today. Attend one session, did it, felt great, really good, motivated, then what happened? Ate better, next day, did the session again, oh my God, it feels so good. Three days later, they feel amazing, ate better, eaten. Water intake up, having water of every meal. Then what a difference that was. So one week from now, question for you. What needs to happen for you to be happy with your progress? Put it below and let's make it happen. Take care.